Hey, it's Sally, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to save an Excel file as a PDF. So I have my file here. I've got two uh, worksheets in this workbook here, and there's two reasons why I would recommend saving a file as a PDF. First is to preserve the integrity of the file, the the how it looks. Okay, so if you send an Excel file to somebody with an older version of Excel it may not translate so it might look kind of funky. Uh, secondly uh, it's it's to preserve the content in there so if you have contents in there that you don't want somebody else to change uh, you want to send them kind of a read-only file that would be another reason why you would save it as a PDF. So I'm in here I'm gonna go up to file and then save as PDF and then here it lets you select, do you want the entire workbook saved as a PDF, uh, this current selection, or um, one or more sheets. So in this example, I just want that one sheet that I'm working on. I, I, I've got the other ones for whatever, but in this example, I just want this one calendar sheet. So you have some conversion options as well. Uh, I typically leave these as is, but you can change those there to uh, either leave it at actual size to uh, to stretch to fit the paper width or if you want it on just one single page uh, you can select that but I'm just going to leave it at actual size and then click on convert to PDF and I hadn't saved it yet so I'm going to so I will save this yes and it's writing it so there it is Here's my calendar that I had in Excel, and it is now a PDF. So uh, it's not editable, and it's it's a nice read-only file. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. And have a great day. Thanks so much for tuning in.